Hello, welcome to my presentation about spatial distribution of public health indicators in El Salvador with an open source web application platform. My name is Metzi Aguilar and I work as a GIS analyst at the Information Technology and Communications Directorate of the Ministry of Health in El Salvador. The applications described in these presentations are the result of a teamwork developed by me, Eduardo Rodriguez, also from INSAL, and independent consultants Rigoberto Reyes, Eric Ramirez, and Karina Guardado. First, I give a short description of the Ministry of Health in El Salvador and its ITC Directorate, ITCD. I'll explain briefly the four principles of the ITCD, the main software developing tools used by the ITCD and the current information systems and their relation. Next, I'll describe the problem that originated these applications and give a summary of both main applications that were integrated. Next, I'll explain more technical details of both applications, then I'll describe the integration requirements and details. Also, I give a brief description of the ITCD documentation website. Finally, I'll close this presentation with some conclusions about this work. This is the map of El Salvador. In the upper right corner, you can see where in Central America we are located. You can see five areas with different colors. Those are the health regions where the Ministry of Health work. The small dots are all the public health establishments. According to the last update, there are 30 national hospitals, including third and second level of attention, and 692 primary health establishments distributed in the whole territory. In 2010, the ITC Directorate was officially created at the Ministry with three units, technical support, network and software development. Also for the ITCD functionality, it is necessary to have equipment, network and human resources. The three units work with open source software with a few justified exceptions. There are also some independent consultants who collaborate with the software development together with the developers of the ITCD under the open community principle. It is very important to mention the four principles under which the ITC directorate work. The first principle is sustainability. This means that the strategies that the ITC implements must be long-term strategies and need to be sustainable in two senses, economical and technical. The second principle is sovereignty, which means that the software is locally developed, it is open source and it is independent of private plugins. The third principle is suitability. This means that the software must respond to the real needs in public health of the country and consider the local context. The fourth and last principle is democratization. And this means that all the units of the institution need to be equally empowered and benefited from financial support. In this slide you can appreciate the tools that the ITC Directorate uses. First, as operating system Debian WC, which is the current version, as a web server Apache, for database system PostgreSQL with some MySQL systems, for geodatabase system PostGIS, uh, for development environment Symfony, programming language PHP, version control system Git, for map server UMN map server, and we are using the license GPL v3. This house represents all the ITC directorate systems and the relationship between them. In the basement of the house is the familiar record system which contains the diagnosis of family's health. Above these systems are all other systems such as mobility and mortality system, statistical production services system, national supply system, among others. On the roof, there are two systems, the ETAB indicator system and the geographical information system, which are systems that integrate data from other systems and present it graphically or geographically for decision making. Now, I'll explain the problem that needs to be solved. There is a need to support decision-making in health surveillance, special nutrition, disease control with visual statistical information from indicators generated by all the ITC systems and also to know the corresponding geographical distribution. 
The statistics needs to be in real time and segregated by time, location, gender, age, etc. MinSAL requires this geostatistical information in order to prioritize its work and also to reduce malnutrition and diseases from the possible outcomes of research from these spatial indicators. The information also needs to be shared with the population in order to keep updated information available. The solution for the previous problem are two applications, the eTab dashboard and the GeoMinsal. The eTab is an information dashboard for online monitoring and the GeoMinsal is the geographical information system of Minsal. You can appreciate two snapshots of both systems here in this slide. eTab integrates the ITC systems and shows indicators statistics using different type of graphs, maps or online analytical processing. OLAP cubes. OLAP tools enable users to analyze multidimensional data interactively from multiple perspectives. GeoMinsal displays several geographical information related to public health. The ETAP system has three models, ETL, Formula Extraction and Indicators Dashboard. The ETL model is for the extraction, transformation and loading of the data that comes from different distributed systems and those can be in different platforms such as SQLite, Oracle, PostgreSQL, MySQL, SQL Server, CVS, comma separated files or Excel Calc spreadsheets. The formula creation model defines the variables for a specific indicator and allows to create a formula that calculates that indicator. The third model is the indicators dashboard, which is the interface that displays the available indicators. It allows to configure some parameters and offers different kind of visualization options such as chart or maps. The ETAP application is built entirely with open source software according to the ITC Directorate principle of sovereignty. The system is on a Debian operating system. GitHub is used as a version control system. Apache is the web server and PostgreSQL the database system. Symfony is used as a development environment and PHP as a programming language. Python is the language for the development of the OLAP server. Cubes is the OLAP server developed in Python. The library that generates graphs is D3. And jQuery is the language for the user interfaces. RabbitMQ is used as a messaging system and EasyBook as a generator for the documentation. The data that the system uses come from different sources and are of a nature such that it is necessary to use a model database without schema, a generic EAV. The table EAV and other auxiliary tables are part of the online transactional processing OLTP, of the application. This facilitates the data management of any indicator regardless of their properties. Multidimensional analysis cubes OLAP, are generated using these generic values. The tables in the OLAP cubes use a star schema, while the tables of OLTP storage use a relational model. The Geographical Information System GeoMinsal is the result of the application of so-called information technology IT to the management of geographical information. This allows to visualize, query, analyze and manage georeference information of national health establishments and in all levels of comprehensive and integrated networks of health services. The snapshot shows the main user interface which is publicly accessible through the web. You can check the URL below the name of GeoMinsal. Also, it is user-friendly and displays three main areas. In the left part, a table of contents where the layers to be displayed can be checked. The map area, including the scale, and the controls like the toolbar, where you can zoom, pan, identify, etc. There is also a status bar showing some additional information. Now I'll explain the features of MapFish, which is the framework that was used by GeoMinsal application. It is written in JavaScript and HTML language. 
the interface customization can be done in a file called index.php. There is a set of basic functions uh, such as identification, measurement, zoom, pan. Those are already available and uh, you can check the code and make some changes if you are a developer. It allows customization of the applications with PHP language. It also takes advantage and reuses other free software projects such as MapServer, OpenLayers and Proj4GS. Very important is to mention that it is a graduated project from the Open Source Geospatial Foundation. This guarantees the quality of the project and the use of standards for operability. In this slide I'll explain the GeoMinsal WebGIS architecture and the technologies used. Since it is developed with Mapfish architecture, this is the explanation from their website and adapted to our specific case. On the server side, the data is managed inside a PostGIS database. The tile generation process is based on a map server that is able to serve the tiles on images. The Mapfish application server provides services like search, print or edit. On the client side, four JavaScript libraries are used to allow the creation of advanced user interfaces. Those libraries are Mapfish.js, GeoExt, XGS and open layers. In the specific case of GeoMinsal, the server side programming language is PHP and the version control system is Git. The steps in order to integrate the ETAP and GeoMinsal applications are the following. First of all, it is necessary to extend the geographic capabilities to the ETAP database called indicators. This is necessary in order that the map server can read data from the database and display a map out of it. Municipalities or any other territorial division need to be included in the indicators database so that maps can be drawn from that dimension. The SQL query in the ETAB that calculates a specific indicator has to be copied and adapted in the map file. The map file is the configuration file of map server. This is necessary so that map server is able to retrieve data according to the query filters and constraints that were used in the ETAB application. The map file also has to be modified including the adapted query. And finally, the index.php file has to add the necessary code in order to show in the layers tree panel the new indicator. Okay, those were all the steps in order to integrate both applications. In the image you can see the map of El Salvador and the number of deaths of chronic kidney disease in 2013 for each municipality. The number of deaths are retrieved from ETAP's database. It is important to mention that the quality of the data depends on the input data in its original system. Well, this was the end of the presentation, but before I finish, I want to mention that the ITC Directorate has developed an online wiki, which includes all the technical documentation related to the software developing tools, installation steps, technical support, network issues and other IT-related topics. The website is public, and you can check the URL in the title of this slide. I invite you to check the articles. The articles are developed by a teamwork and are being improved constantly. Now I'll give you the conclusions of this work. Open source software provides a huge range of tools that allow to develop public health decision making software that is interoperable. The larger investment in software development is in human resources since it is possible to develop complex applications with low cost technologies, however the prepared human resource is essential. It is possible to integrate the two systems as long as the same platform is used. The teamwork strategy with open source provides great and quick results. The reuse of software saves time and learning from others improves the outcome. The data quality depends on the input data in the ETAB. There is a need to have a data quality control mechanism in order to guarantee the statistics in graphs and maps. 
Documentation such as technical and user manuals are essential for open source software development.